here we have a switch statement inside switch we have case 1 it is printing hello and then there is a break statement and then we have case 2 it is also printing hello and then there is a break statement case 1 and then case 2 are having the same functionality can we club it together and then make the code more efficient let's see how we can do it hello logical thinkers here we have a variable a it is initialized with value 1 and then we have a switch statement which accepts the value a and then based on the value it will redirect it to case 1 case 2 or default case so here we have 1 so this particular 8th statement will be executed let us see in the console you are able to see the output as hello now if the a value is 2 it will go to this particular case and then there also we are printing hello only so what we are going to do now is since case 1 and case 2 are having the same set of code and then same functionality i am completely removing case 2 and then clubbing it with case 1 if you run the program again in the console you are able to see the hello so and then I now I am changing the a value to 2 and then running the program again hello so even the a value is 1 it will come here and then see 1 and then it, it, it will execute hello and then it will break if it is 2 it will come to this particular case since we have 2 over here as will and then hello is getting printed in the console and then there is a break statement this is how we can club two cases with same functionality and same set of code Thanks for watching guys.